live in the Art Minds. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do with this channel was to uh, to help you out, to uh, teach what I know, to share it, you know, uh, how to get by our uh, post-capitalist society, not post, I think, late-stage capitalist society, uh, you know, uh, as a creative person, as an artist, uh, theater person, uh, creative type, someone who wants to sort of balance the world between uh, making nice things and somehow supporting yourself on that. Uh, so you're at once artist and small business. But I have a range of skills that I want to contribute, you know, a uh, little tips and uh, tricks I've picked up over the years, a lot of do-it-yourself how-tos, uh, not just in the making of things, but in the finding of things, the utilization of resources. Uh, so that's what this series is, is the uh, starving artist tips, uh, just bits of things you can, can do or find or where to get or whatever, useful crap to uh, save you money in making your own art or just trying to get by. Uh, so here we have it. Thanks for joining me. Starving Artist Tips. One of the challenges for uh, being a starving artist is finding uh, cheap or preferably free uh, materials, supplies, resources, uh, things that you can scavenge, salvage, recycle, uh, or buy on the cheap to turn into something that you can hopefully sell for a little profit. or. Uh, used to raise money for a charity or, you know, generate some greater good than the cost it, to, it took to get it. Uh, and one resource that cannot be overlooked is your local thrift store. Uh, Value Village, Village Thrift. Uh, there are veteran supporting stores uh, that do not have any kind of religious uh, bent to them. Uh, certain Salvation Armies, you know, looking at you. Uh, but here's a great Great little pile I just got from a thrift store trip uh, just yesterday. Uh, got brand new, wrapped, still wrapped in plastic, 12 by 12 canvas, uh, canvas, stretch canvas here. Uh, this looks free of any issues whatsoever, $2.99. Uh, brand new, or at least so lightly used it isn't even dirty, uh, East Pack. Backpack. Uh, I went to the Eastpack website, couldn't find uh, exactly how much this cost, uh, but similar backpacks look to be in the forty to fifty dollar range. So three ninety nine. Uh, this was a little harder to put a, a, a standard retail price on. It did have one that was torn off, uh, but you know some some canned like in, inspirational message garbage art. Uh, I really just wanted the frame for a, a square print that I want to frame up. Uh, Similar ones look to be anywhere between 15 to 20 bucks. We'll just say 15 bucks to be on the cheap end even. Um, $3.99. And still in its wrapper with hanging hardware, one IKEA frame uh, on the, this website. Uh, it retails for about 15 bucks. This one, $6.99. Granted, has a little bit of a nick, a little bit of a scratch right in here. Big freaking deal. Uh, a good frame like this with a nice mat that is under glass, well protected. Um, this can add, you know, 50 to 100 bucks to your, uh, to your finished artwork. Uh, I've heard time and again from galleries and collectors that they want something that's framed and ready to hang. So check your thrift store. Uh, go with a list of frame sizes you need and a tape measure and just start scouting around. Um, and if you don't like the color, sand it, fill it, and spray paint it the color you want. Uh, you'll still have a ready-made frame ready to go that will add immediate value to your art. So, uh, the combined combined retail price of all of this, all of this stuff, brand new, is about $90. Um, you know, plus tax, whatever. A uh, big variable is on these, but you know, uh, this ballpark in here, ninety dollars. The actual retail price that I paid for this was eighteen dollars. So, you know, you want to say you saved eighty percent for uh, just a little half hour nick around your your little uh, local thrift store. That's
that's pretty good. Um, this is going to be for, for a piece at home, but I'm just going to hang on to this and either you know trim a print to fit in this mat or make an original piece to this size so if I know it's framed and ready to go, uh, ready for sale from the beginning. And free, well, not free, but brand new in, in plastic wrapper 12 by 12 canvas. Uh, this is the size I like to work in and you know, hot damn. And I needed, I've got an upcoming trip, I needed a backpack to carry art supplies in the field, my uh, other black field backpack, a uh, bit of dust. So, you know, I can paint this, put pins on it, patches on it, who cares? It was four bucks. Uh, and if I have to, you know, did it Bon Voyage, go to the thrift store and find another one. Uh, but there you have it. Check out your local thrift store. Uh, the money stays in your community. Those thrift stores really benefit people that don't have a lot of uh, money or time or resources to go and shop at the name brand uh, mass market crap. Uh, so that they su usually support uh, educational and training needs for, for people that need them in your community. Um, but uh, you know why? Why pay? Why pay full price? Thank you very much, and we will see you next time on Starving Artist Tips.